Now I am going to show you how to do the deep maintenance for the print head. So usually when the this is how you see you cannot don't force to push the print head. Okay, so usually how I do the release the print head is I press the head cleaning. Once the once the print head is moving already, I switch off the main power. So this is how I move the print head. Okay, first step is you need to take this one out first. To release this one first then I push this one to the center if you get a screw take out all the damper I take all the damper sometimes it's a bit harder especially first time so you take out all the damper take out all the damper usually I will take the three three damper I use a rubber band to tie it. I tie three. Okay, then another three. I take out also. Yep, the other this one. Then I also use a rubber band to tie it. Okay, so this is the first thing I need to do. Uh, now I show you the method how to take out the damper holder. Usually here and here at the back there is a grip there. So usually I take the Allen key. I just put at the back. I just do uh, this way to pull out one way. Open already, then the other way, I just this way to take out the key. Okay, once it's released already, I take out the damper holder. This is how I take out the damper holder. So, second part, what you need to take out is uh, because I need to release the, ca the cable holder. So, here got two, uh, three sections one, two, three. You need to push to, to unlock one two three so maybe as a first time bit difficult so you need to uh, do now this is how I take out the key for the cable okay so this is how I take out the two parts okay after you take out the damper holder and the cable holder you get a magnetic screwdriver is uh, advisable so you need to take out these three screw Need to take out these three screw. Okay, one screw, two screw, three screw. Okay, so now three these three screw they are ready. Now this is how we take out the whole print head. This is how we take out the whole print head. If let's say you really want to clean uh, the hip pattern, uh, please make sure be careful. So usually I will still using the alcohol pad. I will still using the alcohol pad. So you can see the print head line. It's a vertical line. You can see the, the when you open your side, you can see everything. So I use the alcohol pad. I just from top, I squeeze down to bottom. A few times. This one also can help you to, to make sure the pin head don't clock so you can see the dirt's there. If let's say the ink clock problem still cannot solve with the rub of the alcohol pad as I show you just now. So another method is we need to using the cleaning liquid to flush through the print head. So we can turn over. Okay, so this is what the we get a cleaning liquid from your ink supplier. Okay, usually all the ink supplier they will have this liquid. Then you go to get a, um, a surgeon plus the tube. Okay, so secondly, this step you must be careful, huh? 
Don't spill all the cleaning liquid to your printer. So I will get the container. Yeah. So this is the way how I do it. I just uh, insert the tube to the white. For example, if let's say white I facing problem, I just this one. So you can see how I pump the liquid out to uh, through the printhead nozzle. You see, at first it's a it's a white ink came out. You push until no white ink came out. Until you see, it's, if let's say it's still is a white ink, they mean not clean it up. So uh, yeah. So you slowly push. Yeah. If let's say once you see is a not a white ink came out already, just a liquid. Then this is how we'll do already. Since we already do the deep maintenance head clean, so usually I love to use the alcohol pad to clean all the the nozzle. Remember, get one pad for one color. Don't mix up the things. So this is how I clean now. I clean the white because uh, you take care of your machine. Your machine will know how to take care of you. You see, now I clean the white already. So now I get another pad for other color. Lo. Sometimes I feel very difficult to use hand to do the head, uh, the main clean the nozzle hose. So this is why I like to use tweezer. I clean with tweezer easier. Okay. After that, then you clean the whole thing lah. Make sure that all everything is clean. Yep. So this is how I clean the whole pin head. Okay. After flush the cleaning liquid through all the color nose and use alcohol pad to clean all the color nose, so you must still clean this one for one more time. You see? But during you do this process, you must very careful. Don't let the cleaning liquid go to the motherboard. If any liquid fall to the motherboard, that means your whole pin here will spoil already. You see? After I flush the Cleaning liquid, see the frame still got the dirt there. So this is why you still need to use the pad to clean again. After everything is done, now we put back all the print head. So it's how you take out, then this is how you put back. So you need to get the screw, the three screw. Unscrew. Two. Make sure you all tighten. Ah. Okay. The third, the final screw. Okay, done. Okay, we slip in back the damper holder. Press push down until you got click. Okay, then we make sure the cable put in the correct way back. The cable back. Uh, then we still put the holder back. The clip holder. Yep. Everything make sure it got click sound. Yep, nah, done. So now everything is perfect already. So now we just install back our damper. Yeah, after you fix the print head back, so now we need to install back the all the color damper. Yep, one by one. Remember the sequence. Three color, then another three color. One 
one, two, three. After you install all the damper, usually I push to the right hand side then. Then you must arrange nicely the tube back to the location. Okay, one by one, make sure everything is put back in the same location. Okay, then put back the this one, the plastic stripe to make the tube holes nicely. Yeah. Usually after I do all this uh, pre-hand maintenance, at the same time I also do the other two is cleaning the wiper and the ink cap station. Okay, after finish I push to the left hand side. So you, you can see this is a viper. So you can use a tweezer. You see now the viper is very dirty. You can see very, you see can a lot of dirt there. You see we can see a lot of dirt. Okay, so you push the wiper up with the tweezer, then you get a alcohol pad, clean the wiper, clean the wiper. This wiper is very similar to our car screen wiper. Make sure it's clean. See, sometimes it's very you need to to be uh, harder to take out all the dirt. Yep, going to done already. Yep, okay. Done. If let's say you can see dirt in the corner edge, you can use a tweezer. Clip up. Yeah, done. Now clean. After clean the wiper, usually I also clean the this one we call in station. See, so sometimes if let's say you can see a dirt, you can use a tweezer to clip the thing holding out. Whatever you see the dust, okay. Then usually I will use the same cleaning, uh, same cleaning liquid, same cleaning liquid. I put a little bit inside at here. But don't over, uh, don't over. You can see this is how is it when you can see max already, okay. Uh, let the thing this out about thirty seconds. Then I get a, uh, I mean is a tissue paper. Suck the cleaning liquid out. So this is how I clean my ink station. Ah, you can see that. So sometimes you can do two twice also can. Uh, don't overpour. Okay, okay, like that. Okay, for a few seconds, then use a tissue paper to take out the cleaning liquid. Yep, now wiper, insertion, uh, so everything is clean already. After assemble all the parts back to the or original place, okay, we just do one time head cleaning. Press this icon for five seconds. The ink drop icon. Ah, this is the way how we do the head cleaning. Once the head cleaning finish, then you do one nozzle check to check the condition. If everything perfect, then you can continue to do your printing job.